Welcome to Tanks Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional development. Uh, so, quarter time of 9.02 a.m. on the Eastern Time on Friday, September 16th. Hope you guys had a good week and also heading towards the weekend. Ethereum is $1,450, down about 1% so far. On the overall crypto market and the equity market, obviously, um, we're still in the mid of anticipating the upcoming FOMC meeting. And we have the postmortem effects with respect to crypto, specifically on a micro perspective. Um, you know, the merge 2.0 that happened yesterday. Um, and uh, across this morning, we got more um, interesting news that's being percolated on the media front. So let's just take a look at it real quick, right? You can see that across the futures, down 1%. Uh, on Dow Jones, uh, S&P 1.25, uh, Nasdaq 1.3, oil is also dipping as well. However, the 10-year yield is rising again to a very high level, 3.5% or 3.475 if you round it up, right? It seems like with respect to uh, you know the tumbling of the overall market based on the big red numbers uh, or, or the and, and with respect to the big title that you see here, is really coming from the um, the Fed's warning, uh, the Fed uh, Express warning, which is the uh, logistics uh, um, shipper, right? And take a look at this real quick. Um, it seems like with respect to their guidance um, on their uh, recent adjustments from their earnings report, um, the shares of FedEx have plunged about 20% after the shipment company withdraw its four-year guidance and said that it will implement cost-cutting initiatives to contain with soft global shipment volume as the global economy significantly worsen. I mean, I we understand that, you know, with respect to FedEx uh, on their adjustments downward, but this is not just for the company itself, but it's for the um, end users, right, the customer right, that FedEx uh, contracts with, right, which are basically everyone, right, from residential side to corporate side, they ship everything, right, so with their guidance being shaved down, uh, seeing lower volume um, domestically, but also globally, um, it's a ominous warning that we will see worse, um, you know, um, you know, activities going forward, and we will see slowdown of the economy going forward as well, knowing the fact that logistics and supply chains are basically like the lifeblood of our economy. So with them saying saying something like this is definitely negative. And as also with respect to uh, just take a look at some of the trading reports that have been in the past, you know, 24 hours. It uh, seems like as of yesterday, ARK Invest um, was again, quite active selling some, you know, good amount of shares. And also with respect to BlackRock, again, they're selling, you know, again, this is like multi-billion, you know, they sold like almost like $5 billion worth of Adobe yesterday. And, um, well, it makes sense, right? Because they um, bought Figma. Um, so I guess they also reacted negatively, you know, falling through. Um, and take a look at this, you know, uh, on a high level. And, you know, feel free to refer this on our Patreon. It's updated there. So... In addition to that, uh, on the overall market side, we can see that Biden um, is also uh, putting out a framework on regulatory dynamics with respect to crypto. So on a high level key points, I don't want to go into it, but you could like refer to this article on CNBC. Uh, Biden White House has just released a first ever framework on what crypto regulation should look like. The framework outlines the way in which financial services industry should evolve to make borderless transaction easier as well as how to crack down on fraud and digital asset space the new guy falls executive order issued in march uh, in which the president biden called the uh, federal agency to examine the risks and benefits of cryptocurrencies and issue official reports on the findings understood uh yeah if you take a look um on the specificity around this um so obviously with any news around regulatory dynamics or restrictions but um you know not saying this has anything to do with restricting crypto transactions but anytime you hear some you know uh buzzwords around regulatory dynamics on regulating crypto you uh typically see some negative pressure so let's just dive back into 
technical analysis with respect to recording time of 9.07 a.m. on the Eastern Time. And first, I just want to say thank you for the kind notes from my award dinner last night. I appreciate you for commenting on my photo that I posted on our uh, community page. I appreciate you guys. And uh, currently, we're at six, uh, 14.50, which is you know technically the level of resistance. Right now, we are at 40 out of 70 on the RSI scale on a daily. We have crossed down on a dev cross perspective for quite some time. And then on a weekly, you can see that we still need to cross down eventually. We have a double head right now. So that means as we approach closer weeks out uh, onto obviously the FOMC meeting, which is happening next week on 20th and 21st, we should ideally see some negativity. And also with respect to Joe Biden, he is in New York, uh, you know, speaking in front of the United Nations coming up. And I believe they might be broadcasting it. Um, I don't know what this topic of discussions, I think it has to do with uh, environmental uh, efficacies and, and some like ESG policies or something like that that they're working on. Um, not sure if it has anything to do with environment, but you know, with respect to like Bitcoin mining and crypto mining, obviously environmental concerns has been you know one of those like negative hindrance that we've seen so far so we'll see how that goes right but on the monthly you know we are quite bullish right we need to kind of glide down eventually but this is uh it needs to kind of elongate until we find a plateau and then take off from there so on bitcoin very similar right Mid uh, monthly is quite bullish um weekly needs to kind of cross down eventually we are at the 41 out of 70 um but again double head right on the top so we need to kind of cool back down uh to you know revitalize our pump going forward and then on a daily right you can see that we have crossed down um you know we need to cross down we haven't crossed down yet and this is basically a technical exercise on uh, an upward wedge as we were forming upward wedge we get like tighter and tighter and tighter until you kind of basically like again right whatever goes up really really fast come down just as fast and it came down just as fast as we saw in a span of basically september 9th all the way to september 13th so four days right and it makes a lot of sense so unfortunately, we need to kind of cross down. Uh, so coming down to a lower level again, like 18,500, 17,500, very likely even 15,500. You know, that's impossibility. Okay, so um, hopefully you guys have a good Friday coming up uh, or good Friday so far. And uh, for those that are shifting onto the weekend, have a great weekend and I'll check you on the next one. Okay, take care.